<sighs> forgot I have my, I forgot I had my, my turned off on, on my software. We'll begin starting in just a little while, everybody. We'll begin starting around the possible four minute mark. So until that time, as for you, you know, get thyself prepared. And, uh, we'll get started real soon, hopefully. Just kinda playing around a little bit with the first level while I wait for stuff. Stream elements for doing your bit. Definitely an interesting little sound there. goes well for the stream today. playing around on uh, E1M1 until the, until the time comes and then we get to the main attraction. This will give me a little bit of an opportunity to uh, get a feel for how things are gonna you know play out for stream and trolls and everything. I hate when there's fucking like lag moments. <sighs> okay, I don't have any, I don't have any saves to worry about. past the four minute mark and since stream elements has done its thing I'll do my thing which is my intro so hey all my fellow Rumble Maniacs it's Mr. Rumble Roses here and welcome back to yet another installment of Trick for Quest 3 um today we're going to be doing a I don't know if I want to say it's like a brand new mod but it's new in the sense that I have never really uh, played it before I've never heard of it before or anything like that but Today, we're going to be playing a mod called Chick's Quest Galactic Conflict. Um, now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I found out about this mod on the ModDB page of Chick's Quest 3. I didn't really know, I didn't really like read into the story or anything, if there was one. Uh, but I just figured that, but, but, I basically, I, but I basically got it because... When it comes to checks quests and mods and stuff like that, it's 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 kind of rare to be honest with you. Like, there's 
I, 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 think there, I think like there's less Chex Quest mods out there uh, versus like say like Doom or Doom stuff or whatever. But um, basically, Galactic Conflict is a episode four uh, mod that basically adds a new fourth episode to play. Because uh, if you, because if you guys are familiar with Chex Quest three. There's basically three episodes to play, from like the, like episode one, which is check, the first Chex Quest game, to the second episode, which was the second Chex game, and then uh, Chex, uh, Chex 3, which basically has the combination of the first two games as episodes, plus a third one called Invasion. And now we have an unofficial fourth episode called Galactic Conflict. Um, I don't know who made this, so I apologize if I don't give if I don't give like any shout outs or whatever. But yeah, I figured that what I would try and do is I would give this game a sh I would give this episode a shot and see how things are and you know simply have some fun along the way. <laughs> now, in this playthrough, I'm going to be using a mod that I, I've used quite a lot before in the past, and it's called Samsara. Samsara is a uh, mod that works on pretty much any Doom, any game that works on the Doom engine, from like uh, Classic Doom, Chex Quest, Chex Quest 3, uh, Heretic and Hexen, and even Strife and all that. And basically, you can be able to um, have like different characters from different from different FPS games. Uh, and also have like, their weapon ability, and, uh, and also have like their weapons from their games and all that stuff. But it's but it, it's like it's made in a sense to where it's it kind of still has like the Doom formula, to where it's like okay, this one okay, like this weapon replaces the the the, the chainsaw, this one's a shotgun, this one's the chain gun, rocket launcher, and so on and so forth. <sighs> now. If you're playing with Chex, if you're playing Samsara by itself and everything, uh, you basically get these classes right here. You get Doom Guy, you get Chex Warrior, you get Corvus, which is um, the character from Heretic, you get BJ Blazkowicz, you get Pariahs from uh, Hexen, you got Duke from, you guessed it, the Nuke 3 d you got security officer from Marathon, and you got the Ranger from Quake, Quake One to be, to be specific. Um, and you know, again, they have all their uh, weapons and abilities, power ups, and things like that. You know, it's pretty cool. It's it's definitely it's definitely a mod that I would recommend if you wanted to have like your kind of like your favorite character uh, from a different FPS game in the world of a Doom engine, you know, type of game. But, what I figured I would probably do for the stream and see, and hopefully everything goes well, is um, I would try and I would, as I would try and play as Duke Nukem because well, um, I am a Duke Nukem guy and I always try and play. I always, I always often play him if I have if I have the ability with some sort of you know mod like uh, like this for example. Now, when it comes to Galactic Conflict, um, there's about like nine levels, which I'm pretty sure episode not, uh, which I'm pretty sure the ninth level is a secret level, and um, there's also one new weapon to play around with, which I don't know if we'll be able to uh, find out, which I don't know if we'll be able to get it or not. But basically, it's a um, it's a it's, a, it's, a, it's pretty much a railgun kind of weapon. Um, it may look kind of weird because you know I'm gonna be playing it. I'm gonna be trying to play as Duke Nukem, and the uh, the railgun is gonna be having like Chex uh, Chex Chex Warrior's arms and hands and whatnot. But <coughs> as long as we can both switch our weapons back and forth and everything, you know, then you know, some it's something's better than nothing. Now, usually when it comes to uh, most Doom games, you know, whether it be like, you know, Chex Quest or, or whatever, I always play on the Hurt Me Plenty difficulty, which in this case, since I'm playing with Duke, it would be as Come Get Some. 
I'm going to have to rain down in a godly fucking firestorm on you. Oof. Turn the music up a little bit. But yeah, um, because I'm playing a dude whose starting, who's starting weapon is this pistol, uh, it never really runs out of bullets unless you, you know, unless you like configure the, unless you like you go into the options and make it to where uh, uh, slot one uses ammo, which in this case. Uh, I'm not. I'm not doing that. But basically, you know, with, with Duke, it'll have 12, 12 rounds each time, and you know, it'll be like you know, you, you can just use it continuously and never really have to worry about it. And the pipe bombs would be the chainsaw replacement. Gonna do a little something here, but yeah. Um, when it comes to Duke's Arsenal and Samsara, uh, the berserk, the the fist are his are his feet, you know, mighty foot, whatever. Um, chainsaw is is the is the pipe bombs. Uh, pistol is what you saw, and you got the Duke 50 shotgun as the normal shotgun. Uh, you got the Duke Nukem 64 shotgun with explosive rounds as his SFG replacement. Um, his his uh, chain gun replacement is the chain gun cannon, obviously. Um, RPG is the rocket launcher. Uh, freeze thrower is the plasma rifle, and the devastator is the BSG. So you know that's a little. Uh, that's a little something to, you know, keep keep in mind. Just kinda looking at some stuff with uh this little mod that I'm using. And yeah, because we're not, and because we're not using like Zorchers or whatever, um, basically all the Flemoids basically just like, you know, die and have one of like their drift corpses or whatever. And this right here is, um, what is it called? <coughs> Pack of Slam Repellents, which basically is like the armor of uh, this mod. I'm not, I wouldn't say it's like a light armor or a heavy armor, but maybe, I, I, I think like possibly it's like it's, a, it's like a new kind of armor class. Yeah, we got. We'll have to go in here whenever we get the uh, red key. Six, three. Now, one thing to keep in mind about uh, the blue, the blue door areas. Um, basically, let me just kind of show you guys a little bit. So basically. Those doors will lead to pathways up above uh, these dock hanger things. 
Uh, and every single time, whenever you uh, unlock a door, you basically will open. It basically will open up a hangar. And both and, and my time. Okay, dude. And both of the and and both areas will lead to a red key. Um, so it doesn't matter exactly as to which one you take, because they'll both give you a red key at the very end. That's one of the things that I've. Uh, that's one of the things I've learned about whenever I played this level. Solar plexus. I am, by the way, don't don't touch these because they they they, they hurt like hell. Come on, mouse. Yeah, now we got a red key. Oh. <sighs> hopefully this hopefully this whole thing will turn out fine. Even with the, like, random lag moments and stuff. But yeah, basically, you know, since we do all, all un unlock stuff at the, at the top, all the, all the hangar doors on, the, on this, on the right side, it, are pretty much now opened. Yeah, again, you know, just, you know, doing pretty much, you can do the same area, stuff, st st same stuff over here, you know, get the other area open, uh, other areas open, and you'll still take it, be taken to a red key to go to collect. For some reason, we can't really get in there with the, um, we, we can't really get in there, uh, like, we, like we've been able to with these areas. I think somewhere in, I think somewhere in this level might be like a secret teleporter or something she could be able to go into to, uh, get into this area. And it would be nice to know where that place is because as you can go see over there, there's a devastator. That uh, would, would be really lovely to have.
Now normally, now normally if you're playing Samsara for the first time and you don't really, and you don't really mess with the um, with any with any options or whatever, uh, normally you would not get what would be your chainsaw replacement. But for me, I've done some playing around with the options in the mod. I basically will always, I basically will nine times out of ten. Uh, let you um, have have like your chainsaw weapon replacement. It's very really nice. But as you see, as you can see, all the. Uh, the slime from you know the deceased flemoids pretty much will go away eventually. One sec, one see something. If I can get in, if I can get in here. possible secret area but I don't know exactly as to how to get in that with me now, game. I'm gonna get medieval on your asses. If I had a sidekick, he'd carry this crap. That's a big boy. Decisions, decisions. You gotta love when you can get you gotta love when you can get a two for or more. I think those are supposed to be like the uh, Chex Quest replace uh, Chex Quest equivalent of uh, Binkies. <clears throat> one thing, that, one thing to always kind of keep in mind most of the time. Uh, when it comes to, when it comes to like some doors and you see like this, like slime on them, usually that means that you can't be able to open them.
So I guess that probably would have led to some, would have been some sort of secret. Fine. I'm guessing probably uh, this area right here might lead to the exit. Where we gotta like uh, do both both these sides. Two blue key doors. Like a red-headed step. So how does it feel to have my foot up your ass? I think I must have aggroed some from that, uh, um... In that one area. So yeah, both. So yeah, apparently both both places will t uh, will open like two different pathways you can take. I don't know if they're gonna lead to the same area or, or if they're gonna be different, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Some tells me we might have another situation where it's like um, both areas might lead the same type of type of scenario.
Oh yeah, that's right. I kind of forgot about this, but I did kind of I did kind of play around with this level a little bit off stream before I um before before I started. Somewhere, somewhere in this maze is supposed to be a um, a yellow key card. My character's arrow thing is pointing at. Or not? Okay, here it is. That might have, that might have, um, yep, that best like, that might have opened up the pathway that we can be able to go to before. Lips has been called. Okay, so that's okay. So that's what that 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 that's where this um <coughs> that's where this pathway uh, uh, took us.
shall we do it? <laughs> Yeah, if, there, if there's any like slowdowns or lag or anything like that that happens during the stream, I do apologize because sometimes it is kind of weird when I'm trying to like, um, when, when I'm trying to like record slash. So, so, well, sometimes it happens during the stream, but like, and there's like weird moments that kind of happen uh, when I try and like, you know, play, uh, when I try and capture your footage somehow from like, you know, doom related stuff. Looks like it's time for me to go postal. It's kind of... It it's kind, of, it's, it's kind of the reason why I haven't really done... Uh, it's kind of the reason why I have to... Uh, how come I haven't done my playthrough of Doom Classic Complete with, uh, with Disc in a while. I do hope to try and one day get back to that. But yeah, I do hope to one day try and get back in, into more of Doom Classic Complete with Disc. Because ba because basically, um, I only have because basically as of right now, I only have uh, Final Doom to worry about, which is like uh, playing TNT Evolution and the Plutonia Experiment. But I will have to be doing those with like a fresh playthrough, uh, starting with like you know like a pretty much like pistol starting you know the beginning of TN TNT and then. Uh, trying to be able to get all my weapons back then, and then, you know, trying to hopefully save everything to go into the Petonia experiment. When it comes to uh, when it comes to the weapons for Duke in this mod, um, the pistol, the explosive shotgun, and even the RPG all share the same ammo because they because of how they are explosive type weapons. I need to try and get, I need to try and get, uh, this, so I can be full of my chain gun ammo. But yeah, as you can see on the, um, 
Is it, is it, is it going to see on the uh, bottom right side of like showing where the ammo count is and everything? Uh, basically, no, the slot one or or the number one slot ammo thing is pretty much for like your chain gun weapon. Uh, number two is your shotgun. Number three is your explosive weaponry, and number four is uh, your bigger weapon, like your, like your BFD and um, rifle. Okay, this was this was about as far as I got whenever I whenever I played um, a little bit of this level. Okay, so I can't both go into the. I can't do anything in this area yet. I go this way. Is that something? Oh boy, three, to three, three choices. I don't know if there's a, I don't, I don't know if those things like if they'll pick up or if they're if they're um probably like just props. And yeah, for and yeah, for whatever reason, um, the uh, the expo the the the, the, the Duke sixty four shotgun it fi it it like it it reloads a little slower than like than like uh, the this weapon. Not exactly sure why, but man. shiny. But at least we at least we got a yellow key. So it's pretty much is the first key of this whole uh of this whole of this whole level so far. Keyboard and move.
So I guess I'm technically done with this area. Until I go find out what the hell's in here. Let's go teleport to three. Find out what's uh what's behind this. Okay, two teleporters I can take, one that's and one that I can't, because it's oozed up and slime and shit. to make tracks. Okay. Sorry about that. I was doing a little e me my emo uh, to decide where I was going to go as far as teleport the teleporters. I haven't seen a setup like that since Doom 64. Forceville G deactivated. tells us where every single little thing is. So station G then teleport teleport four. Come on. And what is it, what is it B it was in level one.
Uh oh. Game, quit lagging. Hopefully the stream's still going good for everyone. Cause I don't have I don't really have much of a way of knowing if, you know, things don't go on south. And this is like, you know, someone within my chat, you know, who's accurately you know, let me know. does it game the red key card but I need to deactivate I need to deactivate the force field Goodbye, though, for some reason. We can do that. Ah, come on, game. Again, I apologize for the lag moments, but it's something I can't really fix. I don't really know. I don't know why it happens sometimes. Okay, 
Force Fiddle D is the activated. Oh, yeah, that is a blue key. Teleport two. Mouse. Mouse didn't want to cooperate. Man, this seems to be using a lot of teleportation stuff. Okay, so now we gotta go to teleport one. Getting started. Oh, 
boy howdy. Those things like to, those things like to just run around. Run around big crazy like. Yeah, it looks like that might be a possible area we can go to later. Showers in here, are we? I guess this is—I guess this would almost be like the Trex Quest equivalent of like uh, Ludicrous Gibbitude. Because normally in Trex Quest, there's no such there's there's no there's, there's no jibbing of any kind. The uh, cacodemon replacement. Just like Christmas. <laughs> Quiet, don't make a sound. Not my style. I got I got bigger and better weapons than uh, having like um, you know the whole situation with what you would normally get if you're playing this game vanilla. I know, I know eventually that stuff will go away. Yeah, 
We have no keys as of yet. I hope there was some I hope there was something I didn't miss or something I uh, did or did, did by mistake or something? I, I don't know. Because I went to both areas and, uh, There's not, really there's not really much I can really do now. I don't know why I, I don't know why I suddenly like randomly tap the fucking space bar. <sighs> Which in this case if I'm doing like a WSAD thing, you know, keyboard and mouse, it's basically my jump button. I've gone to both places that I can. I hope I didn't find like a random situation to where um, I found. I hope, I, I hope it's not one of those little random situations to where like, um, like, like, uh, I, I'm hoping that it's not a situation to where there's a level uh, in this, and there's a level in this whole mod, like. Uh, lacks keys because I don't know exactly as to where I could have been able to get to have gotten one. And this just takes me back to the start of the level.
Okay, I don't... I don't know what else I'm supposed to do here. Cause like... One door's a red key door, that one's the other key door. And I clearly can't be able to go into this area in here. Oh. Okay then. That uh, that eases things a little bit. I I, I guess maybe I guess maybe this character right here must have had it, unless that there's like. Unless if I was fucking blind and didn't see that there was the yellow key card right there. Either way, I would say crisis is averted. Those things right there are the lost soul are like the lost souls. They pretty much they pretty much act the same way that the lost souls do. And like they like fly around slowly a little bit and then they try and like charge at you. I can't really, I can't really remember if there's like a pain elemental type of type of replacement in me uh, in, the, in this game. This must be yeah, partial partial invisibility.
Maybe, maybe now that area uh, is opened up. Stuff the dreams are made of. Hmm. You know what? Um I think I may go ahead and call it here for the night. Um, I feel like probably it's another little situation to where like things are really slow and not really getting a whole lot of people and stuff like that. So yeah, um, but hopefully, but hopefully everything went well and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Um, well, technically it's going to be part one of. Chex Quest Galactic Qu uh, con uh, Conflict. Um, now, I may do a Let's Play live stream a little later on tonight. Probably in like the next hour. Pro probably until I get into the, the, into the hours of the of the next day or whatever. I don't really know. Um, or, or, it might be soon, or it might be sooner depending on if one of my friends, who is also one of my mods, is... Um, Still not feeling a hundred percent because I know that he was. I know he's been dealing with some food poisoning and all that. But yeah, what I might do is I might like uh, take a little bit of a break from of the, of the on this right now and um, you know just see pretty much just see what happens later on. But yeah. <laughs> But I just want to say to everyone, you know, I hope you, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, this is, this was definitely quite a, um, uh, an interesting fourth episode so far. Um, I'm looking forward to trying to continue it. <laughs> but, um, I'm going to do my schedule and then my outro and then I'm going to try and rate someone. So please stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah. So as of right now, this is basically the end of my slow week of streaming this week. Um, so my next stream will be on Monday as part of my active streaming week. And um, because I kind of put things off with this game a little bit for this week and all that, um, on Monday I'm going to try and get back into some more of Rennick Rampage and uh, try and continue on with episode 2 and everything. And see how far we'd be able to get in our first in our first time playthrough. Um, and then after that, my next stream will be on Tuesday. Um, I think probably on Tuesday I might try and do more micro mages. Um, I because I managed to finally get I managed to get past like the world one thing or whatever you want to call it now. Uh, I'm gonna go on to World Two and try and continue on with that. I I might I might try I might actually switch my way of playing the game up a bit because uh, apparently um, with the actual game itself there's actually you can apparently with the game there's also a ROM version that you can play on like um, emulators and whatnot. And um, I'm going to uh, probably try that out and see how uh, things go. And um, you know, and, and if everything goes well, then I can probably just uh, you know like do do like safe like safe states and whatnot, so that way I don't have to like put in the code stuff each time. <sighs> but yeah, um, and then I'll be off Wednesday and Thursday, and then um, Friday will be the next stream. And I'll probably try and do more of Rise, Rise of the Triad, uh, the full game. 
So, so it's fine, Shadow. As long as long as you manage to possibly, you know, share around my stream and everything, you know, that's you know, that's perfectly fine. But, but I'm glad I'm glad that you were able to I am glad that you were lurking around some in some kind of manner, but yeah. <laughs> hopefully hopefully you're doing well today, Shadow. But yeah, um but yeah, on Friday I'm gonna try and get back into some more of um uh, Rise of the Triad, The Dark War, aka the full game, uh, full, the full game, and then Saturday will be another installment of Sega Sonic Saturday. I might either do Sonic Madness or I might try and. Or, Sonic Madness, by the way, is a Sonic the Hedgehog fan game. It's supposed to like, uh, it's supposed to take place after the events of Sonic Mania Plus and all that. So I might, I might try I might try that out or I might try like um or I might try like a Sonic CD mod or something like that I don't know but some something's gonna happen with Sonic related on Saturday because uh, during my active streaming week on Saturdays you know Saturdays are always or most of the time it's usually you know Sonic related content and then after that my next stream will be on Sunday um. I don't really have an idea as to what I'm gonna do yet for Sunday. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet for Sunday. I might continue more Rise of the Triad, or unless, or, or unless if I don't do um, part two of of this mod, then maybe I'll try and do this on Sunday. But I don't know. But for the most part, that's kind of my mindset for the time being, as far as my active, uh, as far as my active streaming week uh, is concerned, for Monday. So uh, if you guys, you know, are, are interested in any sort of, you know, stuff that I've mentioned, uh, feel free to come on by the channel. I like, I love to be able to see you, I love to be able to meet you, and hopefully, I can be able to entertain, hopefully, I can entertain your day on that very day. But until that time, though, if you enjoy what you saw today and you're watching this on Twitch, feel free to give the channel a follow and become a Rumble Maniac today. If you want to help me just a little bit more, uh, feel free to spread my channel around and help get the word out that I'm trying to reach affiliate here on Twitch. And in case if people are wondering what my current goal is and everything, the only thing I have left to do is have an average of three viewers or more for my streams. So, your viewership is highly appreciated, and the follows are more than welcome. I hope I'm able to entertain you guys with the kind of content that I do, um, and all that good stuff. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube in the future, uh, feel free to give the channel a sub, which is just like following you on Twitch. Uh, feel free to check out some of my other videos from uh, past stuff before and after I became a live streamer. As well as some of my past, as well as some of my past streams uh, that I've done on Twitch that I posted on YouTube for you guys to uh, enjoy there. And you know, and of, co and of course, you know, feel free to give the videos that you check out a like and leave some nice comments down below. And um, you know, feel free to hit the bell notification so that way you guys never miss an upload from me. Well, because I always try and upload something onto my channel, even though. Even if I am trying to work on my Twitch a little bit more. And last, but certainly not least, if you have a Twitter account, you can follow me at Mr. Rumble Roses to um, to know what goes on from any updates to my streams, to links that I post from my YouTube channel to my Twitter, because I always try and share my um, my stuff to my Twitter for you guys to be, you know be notified of. Or you can be able to. Um, you know, feel free to message me somehow, whether it be like a tweet or a DM or something. So, hell yeah. But again, I'm going to try and raid someone. I know it's going to be probably t uh, a two-part person raid, but, you know, raid's a raid because I always try and be able to show, show some support, you know, in some sort of way. But, until I see everyone, though, in the next video or live stream, take care, everybody.